Go ahead and plug in your UM2. Now go into the Finder, to the Go menu, to Utilities. And you're going to open Audio MIDI Setup. The UM2 will show up as Audio Codec 1 and 2. You're actually going to need to hit the plus button down below. And that's going to create an aggregate audio device. This is going to let you add the inputs and outputs together. So you're going to click on USB audio device, codec, and then the next one that says audio codec. And they'll add together to make one unified device that Pro Tools can see properly. Once you're done with that, you can just give it a name, set it to whatever rate you want. And that's it. Now you can just launch Pro Tools. Go ahead and cancel out of the startup wizard. You can go to Setup and Playback Engine and choose UM2 or whatever you call the aggregate device that you made. Create a new session and give it a name. Make sure your I.O. settings don't say last use, but stereo output. And hit Create. Go ahead and create a new mono audio track so you can record some voice or whatever into it. Make sure you have the right playback connected. When you hit the record enable, you should see it in your first input. If you don't, you might have to turn up the gain. Go ahead and make it stop a recording. I'm also going to show you how to create an instrument track here so you can record some MIDI with the M Audio mini keyboard. You can hit create for the tracks, but make sure that you have gone to uh, edit view shows instruments in the I.O. section because if you don't, you might not be able to see the M Audio key station. And that's it. You're all set up on the Mac. For Windows, first download the ASIO for All driver. Once you've downloaded it, open it up and make sure it's selected on the Behringer USB WMD audio device. If this doesn't show, it might say USB audio device. If one of the devices is unavailable, make sure to close all your programs because sometimes they'll be stuck and the system will be trying to use them. Once you've done this, you can open up Pro Tools. Go ahead and hit cancel on the dashboard and go to setup. Make sure your hardware is actually ASIO for all. And this may have messed with your previous settings in Pro Tools. If so, you might want to go to I.O. and then make sure it's selected on Behringer with Behringer being the output. If it doesn't say Behringer, it'll say USB audio. Make sure you have the proper settings for input and output and try to make a recording. If you're still not getting any sound in, you might want to first go to where it says bus, delete everything in there, then go down to default and hit that to make it to default settings, and finally go over to the default output bus and make it into USB audio or Behringer. You need to do this for the output and input tabs to delete everything that they have there and hit default, and that'll bring everything back to the default settings. Once you're done doing that, you should be able to select the proper inputs and outputs for your track.